T- talk about gerrymandering because I think this that drives a lot of the problem that you're talking about. <clears throat> Did can you describe what that is and like how we got to this ridiculously gerrymandered situation that we have? Yeah, exactly. So every ten years, according to the Constitution, we redraw the districts of each house race, uh, each house district, right. and that depends on the census. So we're about to redraw them now, and the districts are supposed to, you know, sort of create this geographic area where this is the representative from, you know, the third district of Wisconsin, and right. they represent the people in that. What has happened, and it actually goes all the way back to our founding when Elbridge Jerry, who was the governor of Massachusetts, and he had actually signed the Declaration of Independence, that's how long ago this was, he, he created a district that looked like a salamander, and they call that's why they call it Jerry because he was Elbridge Jerry gerrymandering. Right. Huh. And the reason he created this <clears throat> district that looked like a salamander is because he wanted to put certain people in that district that he thought together would vote for the kind of person that he supports. And this is right. the political transition uh, transition now of politicians choosing their voters instead of voters choosing their politicians. So. The state legislatures, this is generally how it happens. Every state is a little bit different. But most state legislatures draw the maps in a way that makes it most likely that they will get more districts, more seats that favor their party than that favor the other party. And that's what gerrymandering is. Um, And the districts aren't drawn neutrally. Right. So this has happened, say, in a Republican state house that has 10 congressional districts, they'll take two or three districts and make them 90% Democrat. And then the other seven or eight districts will be 60% Republican or whatever. So even though the state would probably be 50-50, it'll be seven to three or something like that. That's how I understand it. Yeah, Yeah. there's actually a terminology, you sort of pack and crack, which is you Uh, use all of the data we have on the voters And you pack the other side, the opposition, right. into as few places as possible. And then you crack, which is you separate, you know, your voters so you can get as many districts with just 60 percent of your voters. Right. Now, I do want to be clear. Um, and you used an example of a Republican district. Democrats and Republicans over time use this strategy equally. Right. Jerry it's really efficient. More egregious now because of the data. Right. That's available, which is they right. don't have to guess how to draw the district. It's more scientific, but it has been a political tool of both sides. And those that cry out against it are usually crying out against it because they're the ones that have sort of lost that political right. game in their state. 